Hey there, you're welcome to another tutorial where I'll show you how to use Auto-Tune to sound good on your vocals. Now Auto-Tune is such a good plugin, but yet many people just don't know how to use it correctly. So I'm going to show you an easy way for you to use Auto-Tune to sound a lot better. Auto-Tune is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, okay? You can do a little bit more than, you know, I'm going to show you, but for the most part, for most people who are just trying to tune their vocals to sound good, what I'm about to show you is going to really help you out, okay? So right here we have you know the input type the soprano we have the auto tenor low male now when it comes to choosing the input type this depends on you know the source that is the vocal coming into the plugin okay now if you are having um a deep voice like a lot of bars in your voice you want to use the low male okay and if as a male your voice is a bit higher pitch or you're a female and your voice is a bit lower pitch i recommend you use the auto slash tenor okay but if you have like a really high pitch voice whether male or female i recommend you use soprano okay so for this artist i'm going to be using the low male okay and this is typically the case for most you know male artists all right then the next you need to know is the key and scale of your beat okay so because when you sing on the song you typically follow the key and scale of that um, beat backing track instrumental you know whatever you call it so if you don't know how to find the key there's a free website called tunebars.com forward slash analyzer so if i just type it in tunebars.com forward slash analyzer you can just click it and it's going to load up and you can just simply drag and drop your your beats into it and it's going to show you the tempo the key okay so but what i'm more focused on is the key all right so our production right here is currently in f minor okay so you see that is the skill f minor all right then the next thing you need to make sure of is making sure the retune speed is set correctly now the retune speed is simply you know how fast it corrects the vocals or rather the notes of your vocals that are going off key all right so the more i increase it that is smaller the number right here the more aggressive it becomes and you know the more i relax it the more natural and less correction you hear okay so let's hear how the artist vocal sounds and we'll see if we need a lot of correction you know or a little correction do you ever think of me girl call me chef i think of you yeah the freaky things we choose to do oh, nah, 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 nah. do you ever think of me girl so if you hear the vocal right the artist tried but you know a lot of notes are off key all right so to fix that we're going to just simply turn it on and here it sounds with the default retune speed do you ever think of me You can see it sounds a lot better already, right? But when I increase it, let me just exaggerate this to the max. So here I sounds. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, yeah. The freaky things we choose to do. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, yeah. The freaky things we So you can hear how the vocal sounds, right? Now I'm not going to say you should take it all the way down to zero, okay? But, you know, there are some range or some things you need to know when you're trying to set your retune speed, okay? Do you want it to sound natural? Do you want it to sound, you know, really overtuned, okay? So that depends on the number you set it at, okay? If you want, you know, a more um, refined tune that it sounds like it's robotic or have that classic auto tune sound, you typically want to hover around man, between three and maybe 10 um retune speed okay but if you want you know just in between not too tuned and not you know not too natural typically between 10 to 20 is fine and if you want you know very natural just slight correction here and there especially if the artist didn't miss a lot of notes you typically want to be between you know about um 20 to you know whatever number really you're okay with all right so i'm going to, since this artist missed you know a couple of notes more than a few i'm going to have this at let's say eight or seven let's hear how it sounds do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, yeah. The freaky things we choose to do. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef. Okay, so that's the first part, right? So now we fixed, you know, the notes that are off, okay? So if, and the good thing about switching is that with the flex tune, you can even bring back, you know, some naturalness to the song or to the vocal. Let's say, for example, that is missed, missed a lot of notes and, and made you take it all the way down to four or five or even three, right? Let's hear some when it's on three. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, yeah. The freaky things we choose to do. 
But now, while it's hitting the notes correctly, but you don't want to hear that auto-tune sound, you can simply increase the flex tune. This number depends on, you know, how much auto-tune effect sound you want to take out or preserve, okay? So if I take all the way here, you're going to hear less auto-tune. I need to sound a lot more natural. Let's hear how it sounds. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, girl. The freaky things we used to do, oh, la, 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 la. So you can see it's hitting the notes correctly, sounding more natural, but it's not having that auto tune classic feel. Okay, but let's say I you know I just want to find you know, just a little balance with it, right? I can you know reduce this, have it somewhere here, and we see how it sounds. Do you ever think of me, girl? Come and think of you. Okay, so now we fixed that, right? But it's still not perfect here because we can still hear some shakiness in the vocal, and that's where the humanize comes in. If you want to reduce the shakiness when using auto tune, simply use this humanize feature. And the amount again it depends on the vocal you're working on. Sometimes it may take you all the way up to hundred, sometimes you know fifty, half or even less. Okay, so I'm going to take it up to here about um seventy five percent, and hear how it sounds. Okay. Do you ever think of me? So I want you to pay attention to the part where it says, yeah, like, like you hear a little bit of shakiness in there. So that part, I think, you know, I don't want it to have that shakiness at all. So let me take it up some more. Take it way up to 100. So you can see it's greatly minimized. Let me reduce. Let me reduce with lowest. So you hear the difference. So now that reduced the shakiness. Now sometimes you may not be able to take it out a hundred percent, but you know, so long as it's under control and if it's not what you wanted in the song, you can use the humanize to just you know reduce the shakiness that sounds that comes from using auto tune. Because sometimes auto tune confuses the especially when you have to do a vibrato, confuses it thinking it's trying to hit you know different notes at once. So it tries to lock it into one um note and then it starts sounding weird and glitchy, right? But with the humanize. You can let auto tune know that um, there are some vibrato or some long sustained notes in my vocal that I would love to preserve, you know, the pitch and the character. So it's going to intelligently work to preserve as much as it as it can, right? So this is just you know a very helpful button that many people overlook when using auto tune to get that you know authentic sounding vocal. Okay, so it's a very easy to use plugin. Then again, the retune speed just to fix you know, notes that off, that are not on um, on the correct keys, okay? Then this to bring back some um, some more expression, make it sound more natural, okay? And then this just helps preserve the shakiness. So this helps take out the shakiness, especially when you're hitting vibratos or long sustained notes, okay? So this can really help you preserve that natural flavor or natural tone in your vocal but if you're trying to get a more artificial auto tune thing you may not need to mess with this you can just you know play with with the retune speed and the flex tune only okay so that depends on you know the context of your mixing project and this is how you use auto tune to get your mix so let's hear the overall before and after and see you know if auto tune does actually make our vocals better so this is the before do you ever think of me do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, girl. The freaky things we used to do. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, girl. The freaky things we used to do. Do you ever think of me, girl? Call me chef, I think of you, girl. The freaky things we used to do. Yeah. 
So let me know in the comments which sounds better, the before or the after. If you'd like to learn more mixing and mastering, you can click the link in the description of this video to join in on the course. It's an in-depth course that will take you from the very beginning, from the very basics of mixing, vocals, beats, to get really good and pro results. It's self-paced, meaning when you get the course, you can learn at your own pace, okay? And the course does come with some helpful guides that make learning a lot more interactive, okay, and easier. So if you find this helpful, like and follow for more Airmen Classy. See you soon. Cheers.